So that's the opening phase, uh, the opening statement of February, a uh, piece for solo ukulele with high G by Hilary Robinson. And this was written for my first solo uke CD, the new classical ukulele. And it's now published through Donald Bastard Edition, in which I've worked with Hilary closely in producing a performance score which is available in two versions. Uh, the full version showing the music stave and the tablature and then another version just with the tablature. And basically this is to facilitate page turns in the piece. So February is uh, a, a ritual um, which was performed in ancient times in the month of February, which is the month that Hillary started writing the piece in 2020. Um, and I think what actually she matched this sense of ritual with her first experiments on the ukulele. Hilary is a violinist and pianist by training. Uh, she's a classical composer, but she's written across different genres in the last years. Um, anyway, she got hold of the ukulele this is her first ukulele piece, started experimenting and came up with these sounds which she liked. These, these very open sounds, so fifths and fourths. And the piece is dominated by these sounds, which personally I really like. It's really refreshing and it reminds me of um, medieval music, which was also based on the open fifths and fourths and octaves rather than the thirds which dominated so much in the 19th century. So that gives you a sort of flavour of the piece and these um, it's a piece of about six minutes and, and this these flavours permeate the whole piece. Um, you may have noticed that at some point I played these chords quite slowly and that's actually marked in the score. Uh, they're marked SS to play them, uh, well, it, it means slow strum. Uh, I, I do it as a finger roll. You could do it as a strum with your eye finger if you wanted to. Uh, later on in the piece, um, there's a section which requires a quick strum. This is kind of at the high point of the piece. It's fairly um, intense and dramatic, this section. I'll just play a little bit of it. So it's marked fortissimo and you've got a lot of dissonance there, but still the basis on these open intervals. Now, uh, the section I'd just like to talk about a little bit more is the tremolo section. Uh, it's a beautiful section. Now, as you probably know, the tremolo comes from classical guitar use of tremolo normally on the ukulele, although the, there are other ways to do it. P, the thumb, A, the ring finger, M and I are alternated in this quite quick fashion to get the idea of sustaining a single note. So it's, it's like it's mimicking a violin or another 
like a, a wind instrument or brass instrument which can sustain the sound and vary the intensity of the sound in time so it can get louder or softer. The normal tremolo is what I've been doing but Hillary um, starts with a chord and then the tremolo. Given that the the normal tremolo pattern is P A M I, then you could just do a chord, the chord with your thumb, and then pick up the tremolo pattern. Now that's possible and it's okay, but actually I found I preferred the sound of doing the chord with the I finger and then picking up the tremolo pattern, and and it. It's, a, it's all right. I mean, it, technically, it is a little bit more difficult, but the tremolo in this piece is not particularly fast. It's marked at 60 beats per minute, uh, and a, a sort of normal fast tremolo would probably be 70 beats per minute, doing two repetitions per beat. So what you've got here is something like this. Now I'll stop there. Um, you might have noticed that towards the end of that passage, I went from a downward strum uh, to an upward strum. Now this is tricky because the upward strum turns into a tremolo on the fourth string. Now for some reason, I guess the, there's not really much difference on the ukulele because it's, it's a small instrument in the hand position but it just feels much more vulnerable somehow the, the hand in that position and actually doing the tremolo on this full string is in itself quite challenging I found. So when you get this passage that goes up with the chord, tremolo, down, tremolo, it's actually really difficult to keep it even and balanced. But actually, if I split that chord going down with the I finger first and then the thumb, I can maintain the normal tremolo pattern on the fourth string. And the speed is something like this. It is a piece with technical challenges. It's a beautiful piece musically. I really enjoy playing it. I like the dissonance, but that dissonance is never kind of um, too harsh because it's tempered with this, this openness of the fifths. So uh, I'm just, I'm gonna finish with uh, the closing bars of the piece. I hope you like it. And if you think it's the piece for you, then the sheet music is available. And of course, if you want to hear it on the CD, that is also available from my website, donaldbowstick.com. Thanks very much.